You know, in Isaiah 40, how do you wait on the Lord? Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, bound up with wings as eagles, running about be weary, walking out faint. How do, you, how do you wait on the Lord? You sit down and shut up. That's it. So the first step, God's cure to getting his heart back into my heart is I need to rest my body. Number two, reorganize your life. That's the next step to re renewing your heart. Renewing the heart that God gave you. I need to reorganize my life. Now I, I need to explain to you what Nehemiah did here. In verse 13, he says, <coughs> so I stationed people behind the lowest sections of the wall at the vulnerable areas. And I stationed them by families with their swords, their spears, and their bows. And I made an inspection of the nobles and the rest of the people. Now what's he doing here? He's saying, okay, look, we're afraid the people are gonna attack us, so now here's what we're gonna do. Everybody's gonna build their part of the wall. You build the part of the wall behind your house, you build the part of the wall behind your house, you build the part of the wall behind your house, you build the part of the wall behind your house. This, we're gonna reorganize it, and we're gonna do it where half of you watch guard while half of you build, and then you switch. What's he doing? He's just creating a reorganization plan. Here's the point. Some of you are ready to give up on your church. Don't. I think God had me come from the, across the U.S. from the other side over in the Pacific Ocean to tell you here, don't you do it. God hadn't told you to leave. The Bible says Christ put me in the ministry. You better stay put until he chooses to move you. But you don't leave just because there's a problem because the next church is going to have problems too. What you're doing, you may even be doing the right thing, but you may be doing it in the wrong way, and what you need to do is reorganize. I can help you with that. If you want to call me, I'll help you talk about that. But discouragement, as I said, doesn't mean you're doing the wrong thing, maybe just in the wrong way. And the natural temptation is to give up on the dream. No, just try a new approach. You know, if you're deeply in debt, you reorganize your budget. If you're out of shape, you reorganize your your lifestyle. If you're overcommitted, you reorganize your time. You may need to eliminate some things. You may need to go home and do a little rubble uh, releasing. Some relational rubble, some emotional rubble, things like that. 